Billy Ray Brown had no previous experience managing a dairy herd, but a trip to the local grocery store one night sparked an idea. I was shopping with my wife one night and noticed the organic milk that they had and people were buying a lot of that. And when I picked that carton up, I noticed it came from Colorado. And I knew at the time and still now, people are buying a lot of local products. And uh, to me, it just didn't make sense to ship milk that far. Especially, you know, when we could grow it here, you know, we got grass, we can, we can do it right here. And I, I thought that people would be more interested in buying milk from local farmers than from some farm 12, 1,500 miles away. So he kept toying with the idea in his head, talked to some people at Mississippi State, and decided to just jump in with both feet. Quit my full-time job to, to do it, so uh, fortunately it worked out, but it was, was kind of scary. I do, I really enjoy the dairy. Like I said, I've always been around cattle, but not dairy cattle, but uh, we enjoy it because, and the, the main reason, my wife has um, stayed home with our children. Now we've got two in school, but we're all working here together on the farm. She helps me, and uh, now we're still working as many hours as I was before working two or three jobs, but we're at, we're at home and able to work together. So for us, that's what it's all about, spending time at home with the family. While most of the 65,000 dairy farms in the country milk less than 200 cows, Brown's operation would be considered microscopic since he only milks between 11 and 14 cows a day. But instead of joining a huge cooperative to sell milk, Every drop of that milk is bottled right on his farm and sold locally. It only takes us about an hour and 15, 20 minutes in the morning, hour and 15 minutes at night to milk, but the rest of our time spent bottling milk or going to a store or to a farmer's market. But in between time, we can go check our beef cows. We have, um, here in Oxford, we have a store called the Farmer's Market that probably sells the majority of our milk here in Oxford for family, family milk, you know. They buy the, the half gallon bottles and glass return those to the store and we also serve about three restaurants in Oxford that cook with it and make and bake and all kind of things and then um every Saturday of my life I go to Hernando Mississippi to the to the, the square at Hernando and sell milk in the in the farmers market season I think it's like from May to October there's a lot of other vendors there that sell produce and stuff but after that's over I continue to go every Saturday because milk's seven days a week and we produce milk every week and those people, those families will meet us there every every Saturday to get their milk and they'll bring their empty bottles back and I'll give them fresh milk and we do that every Saturday rain or shine we do that year round. Brown's Dairy produces a product called cream line milk. Well we don't homogenize the milk so in the glass bottles, the clear glass bottles you can obviously see a, a good cream line there with a lot of our, our customers, they're younger people which have never seen milk that's not been homogenized so We've had a two or three of them come back and say something's wrong with my milk, you know, it's just, and you have to explain to them that that's the cream. But we do pasteurize our milk. Uh, we're regulated by the, of course, State Department of Health. They come out and take samples. The people in their 60s and 70s really go for it because that's how milk was. You know, when they grew up, that's how it was. And, of course, they judged that the, the bigger cream line, the better, you know, and that's what they like. Brown has a very loyal customer base that comes to buy his milk every single week. And some of them drive a you know, a pretty good way to come down from around Memphis, Olive Branch, Bahalia. They travel uh, a pretty good ways to get your milk, but once they get to buying from you, and, and I think, you know, you, you're selling a product, but you're also, not that you're selling yourself, but, you know, we try to get people here to our farm. We give free tours. We don't charge anything. We want them to come see these cows, how they're milked, how they're treated, and, and those people, it does make them feel good to know where that milk's coming from. And while they're on the farm, they get to see that farmers treat their animals right. If you don't treat your animals good, they're not going to produce for you. Um, the better you treat them, the happier they're going to be. The more they're going, whether it's meat, milk, whatever, they're going to produce for you. So that's I want the public to understand that farmers do love the land, and they do love their animals. And if they don't have those, they don't have anything. And that's that's why we want them to come out here and see it. You know, we welcome any time. Show up seven days a week. We'll be here and, and show it to you. And while their main business is bottling fluid milk, Brown also markets some meat products raised on his farm. We run about a, a hundred beef cows and we have a small hog operation and uh, we're trying to now retail some pork and some beef, uh, both pasture raised pork and then local beef and um, just try to be diversified. You know, we don't want to put all our eggs in one basket with the dairy, although it's doing well, we like to be a little diversified.